What is packing with you, you too? Long time no hear from. Shout out to the PAG Pack Attack Gang. Uh, time is up, man. <laughs> time is up. It's time to make a goddamn decision, man. We got free agency going on, and the only thing we can do is re-sign Keyshawn Nixon, Keyshawn Nixon. That's the only thing we can do right now. A lot of our cap space is being held up by a elderly quarterback that's trying to figure out what he's going to do. I've seen a lot of things happen so far. Seen the seen the Chicago Bears make a smart move by, you know what I'm saying, trading a number one draft pick for a receiver to help out Justin Fields. That number one pick now goes to the Panthers. We see that Jimmy Garoppolo has now signed with the Raiders. Uh, Jared Stidham. <laughs> I think he signed with the 49ers along with Sam Darnold. Um... Derek Carr has went to the Saints. The Saints have re-signed Jamison Winston. We've seen uh, Jimmy Ward leave the 49ers. Um, Jason Kelsey is coming back to play with the Philadelphia Eagles only because I think the Eagles host the Super Bowl. I think they host the Super Bowl up in the next few years. I know it's in Vegas, then next year it's in uh, New Orleans, and I think the year after that it's in Philly. So yeah, Jason Kelsey is only sticking around for that. Um, and it's a whole bunch of you know players that went on to different places, especially the Bengals. They kind of lost their defense a little bit. They lost their safety, and I think they lost a uh, corner. They might have lost another DB, a nickelback, somebody. They lost a couple of DBs because they got to pay them receivers over there, and they got to pay Joe Burrow. So. Um, a lot of movement going on right now. Uh, only, oh yeah, the the, the Vikings, um, they let go a couple of players. Uh, Patrick Peterson is now gone. Um, Jalen Ramsey is now with the Dolphins. So it's a lot of movement going on right now early in free agency. And this is only the tampering part that they allowed to do. This is all talk. All right now is talk in, until, you know, uh, yeah, two more days. Then that's when those those players can sign with those teams that they have made a verbal or you know verbal agreement with. Um, but for the Green Bay Packers, we have to sit up here and wait for a potential trade between Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. And this lets you know, I think Aaron is taking his precious time to let the media the media fuck themselves. You know, there's been all these reports coming out. Oh, he's moving on from the Packers. He's going to the Jets. Oh, the Packers want Aaron Rodgers back. Oh, the Packers are done with Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers wants to go to the Jets. Oh, Aaron Rodgers wants to come back to the Packers. You're just hearing all of these headlines and all these rumors just getting floating, floating around. And then when it comes today, Ian Rappaport and Adam Schefter are speeches. I, 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 I. I told y'all, Aaron Rodgers got the leverage in this whole scenario. The Green Bay Packers gave him all this leverage. And rightfully so. At the time Aaron Rodgers won the Super Bowl, the Packers was only worth $1.1 billion. Today, the Packers are roughly a little over $4.2 billion now. So Aaron has made this team and this organization a lot of fucking money. A lot of money. So all you Packer fans from the Aaron Naglers to the Corey Bankies and the, the Tom Grassies and the KDGs and you know, some of the PAG, you know, guys. Let the man make his decision when he's going to make the decision. 
the Green Bay Packers have, has given him a time period. He said it when he had an interview with Brandon Marshall at some, I don't know if it was a high school football camp or wherever Aaron Rodgers was at. The Packers have given him a time limit. And I'm pretty sure he's going to make that decision soon. So let's stop rushing the man on his decision because y'all are impatient of what another man is going to decide for his future, his life, his legacy. It's not you, it's him. You're not in his shoes. So chill out. God damn. The time is ticking. I'm looking at all these Aaron Nagler IG posts like, bro, you said you 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 hit me back. You message me back. I'm calmer than you think. That's what you that's what you said. And then the next few days you coming out. <laughs> Come on, Aaron, time's ticking. You're not calm. A lot of respect for you, Aaron Eggler. I have a lot of respect for you for what you do as far as bringing us information about the Green Bay Packers. Just a couple years ago, you was bragging about, oh, we got the two-time MVP. Now you want the man out. Now you want to, now you want him, you want him to rust his decision. Same thing with you too, Tom Grassi doing all this unfunny shit on your channel, sitting in the dark. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, hey, more power to you, Grassi. I don't get it. Maybe it's me. I don't get it. I don't get it. But, you know, more power to you, man. Much respect. You know, you earned it with what you do. But over here, we gonna be real about it. And I can give a damn about subscribers and views. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in it for that. I don't want YouTube to control me. Oh, I gotta, I gotta put out a video. I gotta put out a video every time some news come out. I do, I make a video when I feel like it. But back to what's more important is Aaron Rodgers taking a sweet ass time Take as long, take all the time you need, Aaron, up until the last second. You never know. One day he might wake up and look in the mirror and say, damn it, I'm supposed to be a fucking Green Bay Packer. That's what I am. Or he could wake up and look in the mirror and be like, hmm, let's go try, let's go test the waters in another on another team. Let's go play for an owner. A man, uh, let's go play for a team that has an owner where I could go directly to the source and tell him exactly what I need to win to get that next championship. Or he could wake up in the mirror and just look in the mirror and be like, hey, job well done, man. You did all you can do. It's time to move on to something better, something bigger um, besides football. And I think it's time for me to hang him up. You know what I'm saying? This is a... Uh, big decision in a man's career that's going through I, I, I in my opinion in my opinion a midlife crisis getting 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 to the age of 40 39 now about to be 40 this year I understand what Aaron is going through I understand you wake up and you like ah I gotta do all of this again with an organization that's not putting me in a position that I need to win. I would feel I, I wouldn't want to come to OTAs too if I'm seeing if I'm looking at a team that's not making the right type of moves. <clears throat> that's not making the right type of moves or the moves that I like to where I feel I can go out there and succeed and bring this team another championship. So it's a whole lot of things that this man has to think about. You know what I'm saying? Do I want to go through the injuries again, trying to play hurt, play with a broken thumb, messed up knee, hip, kind of fucked up foot, all that? Do I have the energy to go through that? Do I have do I have the mindset to go through another 17 game season? And we just started doing 17 games. This is the second season that we about to be doing 17 games. Trust me, 18 is coming. 18 games is coming. So, 
you know, let's be patient. Let this man have his time. You know what I'm saying? He showed up Sunday. He showed up on Sunday games, showed up on primetime games, showed up on Thursday night games. You know what I'm saying? To, 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 to put the best product on the field as a Green Bay Packer quarterback. And we can't allow him a month and a couple of weeks to make a decision on his career? We want to force this man? <laughs> we want to we want to push this man and force this man to into something he might not, you know what I'm saying, feel comfortable making a decision at that time because oh the I don't the the, the pack if the Packers ain't rushing him, we shouldn't rush him. We haven't seen we haven't seen Mark Murphy, Matt LaFleur, or Brian Goonkins come out in any interview saying he needs to hurry up and make a decision. Time is ticking, and we got things that we need to do for this organization to make this team be better prepared to go on the, go on the Super Bowl run. Nobody is saying that. What are they all saying? Aaron deserves all the time he needs. You know what I'm saying? When he's ready, we've allowed him to have as much time as he wants to make a decision. That's what they've been saying. That's what they told us. But yes, there is a time, there's a period of time where Aaron, okay, Aaron, you reached the deadline. What's your decision? That's why they let him talk to the Jets because the time was approaching for free agency. We're going to get an answer, people. We're going to get an answer. So, <laughs> Calm down, <laughs> chill out. <laughs> An answer is coming soon. And when that answer comes, then y'all can go ahead and run rampant with the videos and all of the slander that the media is gonna keep pushing on this man the uh, week in and week out about the decision he made. And you know, people, some people are gonna highlight some positives and some people are gonna uh, uh, highlight the negatives and the reason why he should have just retired. This isn't a good fit. Uh, the Packers are stuck. If he comes back to the Packers, you're going to hear all the bullshit. Oh, he, the Packers are stuck with this guy again that just can't get it done. He's got him stuck in cap hell. They can't get out of this cap hell with him being on the team. I'm disappointed. Hey, <laughs> nobody should be blaming nobody but the Green Bay Packers. They let this happen. They let this happen. Not Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> they let this happen. When you bring in a new GM and a new head coach, and I said this in my, my, my a video when we first got Guten Matt, at some point in time, they're going to want to bring in their own identity of what they think this team should be or what this team should look like. And they made a big, 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 um, um, example of that by drafting Jordan Love. That's what they did. They let thought they let Aaron Rodgers know, and Aaron Rodgers has constantly been saying, "The Green Bay Packers have drafted my replacement." Now, is Aaron a diva? I think every football player that's put in the spotlight is a diva. I think they all are. If you are one of the <laughs> top players in the league that's highlighted in the NFL, yes, you're going to have some kind of ego. So let's just let the chips fall where they may lay when he makes his decision. Let's all soak it in, take a deep breath, analyze it, and then think about the pros and cons of whatever decision he might make through a video. I'm not going to make no video. Whatever he decide to do, I'm just, if he decide to leave, it'll be thank, uh, thank you Aaron Rodgers video. If he decide to stay, all right, man, give us a, give us some more magic. You know what I'm saying? Give us a little bat, little bit of magic you got left in your arm and your talent and try to lay it out there on the line and try to bring us another Super Bowl. But until then, I'm sitting back, relaxing, chilling. And when a man makes his decision, Ain't going, nothing we say will matter. Go, Pat, go.